Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a brand new PSN account on your PS5 console. Now this account, of course, will be functional across all platforms, which means that you could log in using your PS4, your PS3, and even your PSP in case you guys still use it. I'm going to help you guys set up your brand new PS5 from start to finish because there's a lot of useful things that you need to remember while creating an account which are going to be useful or extremely crucial in case you guys ever lose access to your account or it gets hacked and so on. So without any further ado guys, let's just get right into the video and let me show you guys how to create a brand new PSN account on your PS5 console. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our profile and then just hit add user. And then as you guys can see, it gives you an option to add a brand new user to your PS5. So you want to select this and just agree to the terms and conditions. And then hit confirm. And then once you're in this screen, guys, it's going to give you an option to sign in manually or create an account. And you're going to be selecting create an account. And then once you're in this screen, you're going to be typing in your date of birth. Now make sure your date of birth is accurate because if you just type in uh, something random, you're not going to be able to remember it when you need it. So just make sure you type in your correct date of birth so that you just, you know, have it handy whenever you need it. And it's also one of the most important questions that Sony customer support is going to ask you if you ever want to recover your account. So once you've entered your date of birth, just go on to next. Now on this screen, you're going to be selecting your country. So I'm just going to select United States and hit next. Now this is where you're going to be typing in your email address. Now it could be pretty much anything. It could be Gmail. It could be Outlook. It could be Yahoo. Just make sure that you have complete access to your email address that you're typing in because you're going to be needing it um, if you, in case you guys want to recover your account or for a lot of things, guys. So just make sure that you have complete access to your email address. So I'm just going to be typing in mine, which is Dr. Glitch YT at Outlook. And you're going to have to type in your password as well. Just make sure that the password strength is strong. Once that is done, hit next. And here you're going to be typing in your first and last name. Now you, you can easily edit this later on. So it doesn't matter what you type in right now. So I'm just going to be typing in my channel name, which is Dr. Glitch. All right, guys, so once this is done, you can select if you want to receive emails or not. It's going to just keep it default and hit next. So this is where you're going to be typing in your postal code, which is your exact address. Now, this is also something that could be changed later on. So you don't have to spend a lot of time thinking uh, what your address is going to be as you can easily edit it later on. Uh, one of the only things that you can't edit is your country. Once you've uh, selected your country and created your account, you just cannot go back and select a different country. So once this is done, you're going to have to select your avatar. So I'm just going to go with Rey Mysterio right here. I don't know why I just, you know, um, like the look of it. So I'm going to hit next and here's a couple of suggestions for your online ID. Now keep in mind guys, even though you can uh, theoretically change your online ID, it's not as easy as it seems and you can only do it a couple of times guys. So make sure that you select the online ID that you really want. And then once that is done, hit next. I'm just going to keep my profile social and open and you can hit apply here. And once you're in this screen, guys, this is basically uh, your privacy uh, information. If you want to share your information with Sony or not, if you if you select limited data only, you're only going to be sharing limited data. But I'm OK with sharing my information, guys. I don't really mind. So I'm going to hit confirm and continue. All right, guys, so this is personalized purchase recommendations, which means that Sony is going to suggest you or give you ads based on the things that you like. So I'm just going to keep a default as I don't really mind. I mean, I would like to see ads uh, based on the things that I like uh, as opposed to the things that I don't like. So I'm going to hit confirm and continue. So again, you can have to agree to the terms and conditions on this page as well. So agree to the terms and conditions and hit continue to go to the next screen. All right, guys, so once you're in this screen, you should have received an email from Sony on your registered email address. 
in order to basically verify your email address. So you're gonna click on verify. Uh, I would definitely recommend you guys to verify your email address right away. So once this is done, you can set a passcode to your user uh, that you're gonna be logging in as once you've created your account. So we're not gonna do this for now. I'm gonna keep this for a separate video. For now, we're just gonna move on. So hit okay. And hopefully this should be it. All right, two-step verification. So if you guys wanna keep your account secure, if you're gonna be making purchases or even just entering your payment information uh, on your account, just make sure that you have two-step verification turned on. You can do this later. And as you guys can see, your account is ready to use. So that was pretty much how you create your account, uh, your PSN account, excuse me, on your PS5 console. So that was pretty much the video, guys. Hope you find this video helpful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like to this video and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.